Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just talking about kooky, crazy kids in love that love reacting to some Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, today we're checking out Assassin's Creed Embers. And if you want all of our Assassin's Creed reactions, uh, check out the description of this video for a playlist. Yep. We did, uh, this is completing our Ezio journey. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even Bucky liked it. Mm-hmm. And because it's Assassin's Creed. We have a drink. Yes, we do. Yeah. It's the Hidden Blade. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, bud. No. It's called sweeping Bucky. Mm -hmm. They did it before vacuums were invented. He hates cleaning when you type. I was gonna say, he hates vacuums too. Mm -hmm. I am taking Marcello into town. Mm. To see Machiavelli's play. Mm. Ezio, his play closed three weeks ago. I missed it. We are visiting your sister. Keep an eye on Flavia, okay? See, si, of course. We will be back soon. Ciao, amore mio. A più tardi. Be safe. Keep writing drafts of. <laughs> Flavia Tesoro, stay where I can see you. Gentile, papa. Go inside, Flavia. No. I do not know what else to say. I am sorry. I do not want any part of this. I want to understand. Understand what? How to lead, to rebuild my order. No, for me that is over. Benito, now I think you should go. Ezio, she has come a long way. Shao Yun, did they say that right? Um, would you stay for supper? Grazie. <laughs> Good, we have a spare bedroom. You're welcome to stay a few nights. <laughs> he 
He warms up eventually. so late, Sophia. I knew I would not have enough time to do everything. Now I worry I do not have enough time to do anything. You don't have to fight, you just have to teach. Pass down your knowledge. <laughs> I was wrong. See, I think you need to go. My name is Ezio Alditore. When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Mm. It would be 30 long years before I understood the meaning of all three. I want to understand, like you do, to help my people. I was an assassin for a long time, Yoon. And I know that at any moment, someone could come for me, or my family. Do you see? This is why I must be careful. I usually hire people to help me with Vendange, the grape harvest, but... Indra, let us get something to eat. give these last three seasons this way I want to show you something it is nice no piena di vita Half my family was murdered in this piazza, right there, 45 years ago. But now, I see it like this, so full of life. I cannot help but feel content and satisfied that so much pain has faded away. The life of an assassin is pain, you you suffer it, you inflict it, you watch it happen with the hope that you can help it disappear in time. A terrible irony. Yeah. But there you go. All right. I'm to drag this old man back to his villa. Ooh, this 
the Ezio back in action. Hm. Let me handle this. Yeah. Oh, you're leading him back to your place. It was my mentor's wish to meet you. We left China together in secret with these men. They caught him in Venezia. Who are they? Servants of the Emperor, Jia Jin. I was born a concubine, but my mentor freed me when I was young. We returned later to save more girls, but they were... The Emperor is a cruel man. He prefers Ling Chi to beheading. Ling Chi? Slow process. Many thousand cuts. Then dead. Oh. Death by a thousand cuts. So is that Emperor the reason we have that scene? Maybe. Pack some bags. You must stay at Machiavelli's tonight. What happened? A misunderstanding. Give me just a moment. the Borgia. Revenge drove me forward. And my first impulse was to aim for the head. In time, however, I learned that those who inspire fear have more devoted followers than those who preach love. Hmm. Killing Rodrigo and Cesare would have accomplished nothing without some equal measure of fraternity. So I spent many years teaching men and women to think and act for themselves. First in Roma, then Constantinople. Love binds our order together. Love of people, of cultures, of the world. Fight to preserve that which inspires hope, and you will win back your people. It will take a long time. A long time. If you do it right, see, get some rest. Yeah. Holy hell. <gasps> so they get the term hand cannon. Oh! Damn. I thought she was gonna cut him too. As she did the flip. Nice! She's got some great moves. Yeah. Oof. Just for good measure. Yeah, I bet, dude. Yeah, I don't think he's been doing a lot of trust falls lately. No. Well, wait till I load this thing. Ah. 
He's like, do we not want to go for the guy with the oh. cannon? Oh! I mean, I know he's big, but like, let's stop him from firing the cannon. That shield's very old. True. She could probably get him. He's still spry, though. Oh shit! Oh! Ow! Yeah! She did it better. Yeah. Oh. Those are 40 years younger. Maybe more than 40. Oh, nice! Oh! Oh, he's still wiggling! Oh my god! <gasps> oh, just in the eye. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh -huh. Dude, not go down. Well, I feel like those oh. were probably poison. Yeah. So you could have helped him. Get that guy off. He doesn't look white. <laughs> no, he's bleeding. It looked like he was bleeding from like the corner of the mouth a little bit. Mm. Maybe not. Hopefully not. It is a long way home, no. Much to see along the way. Thank you, mentor. Here. This may be of use one day. No. Only if you lose your way. You should go. Assassin's Creed based in China, have they? I think they might have, but it was like maybe a handheld only. Oh, okay. I feel like there was. We will be back just after dark. Heard of one spoken of. Yeah. I think I remember from when we did the like our favorite assassins or whatever, or draft or assassins draft. Mm. I think there was one. So this might have set that came up. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I imagine. I am home. We will be right over here. Hmm. Al diavolo. I hate this damn city. I wish I was in Rome. I hear the women there are... Hmm... Like ripe Sangiovese on the vine, you know? Not like here. It's not Fiance. creepy. Huh. You're ruining this moment for him. Think yeah. Fiance is your problem. Prego? <laughs> Coraggio vecchio. Some rest, As a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into contentment. 
Love, liberty, and time. Once so disposable are the fuels that drive me forward. And love, most especially, mio caro. For you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. Endless affection, Mia Sofia. Forever yours, it's you auditore. I, mean, I don't know how I expected it to end. Still sad. It is sad, but I really like the fact that we get to see him at the end. He has his vineyard. Mm. He has his family. Yeah. Um, and he has like the ability to sit there and reflect on his life, to impart yeah. his wisdom one final time. Yeah. To get one good last brawl in. Um, you know, I mean, those, it's always sad when someone passes, but like those yeah. things are not necessarily what everyone gets and especially not in his line of work. That's true. Um, so like, it's very sad to see him pass, but like all things considered, there's a part of me that's like, I am so glad he had this rich, full mm -hmm. life and he wound up having tons of adventures and, and gets crazy stories, but then he finally also gets his time to settle down and... Be content. So that was death on the bench, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At first, I was just like, I'm like, oh no, was he? <laughs> again, overcomplicating things and like, like crazy theories. I was like, oh no, was that the son of like the guy who was like? Uh, I was doing it too. I was reading into like the scar on his face. I was like, where'd that scar come from? Is that something that we should know? Was he like somebody? Did, did Ezio kind of screw him up at one yeah. point? Like, I, I had the same thing. Like, remember him? Uh, the guy that was always after his sister or whatever. Yep. And then he's like, oh, El Diablo. Uh, I thought like, I was like, maybe that's his son and he poisoned Ezio. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, so I'm like, I'm just like, okay. I was like, then he gave him, the, gave him the nod and he just gave him at least, you know, which was nice because he could have one last look at his family yeah. before he goes. I was very curious about, something like, that, like they said Shaolin was her name, but I just think of Shaolin monks from mm, yeah. Mortal Kombat. And then I'm like, did I mishear that? But I was very curious about her, about her backstory, about learning more about that Assassin's Creed. Because to your point, I think mm -hmm. you're right. Like now that you say that, I'm like, yes, there. I feel like there were some characters from Asia in, in our draft. Mm -hmm. um, but that game and sort of like all the Assassin's Creed stuff that we've talked about and in my familiarity with the Assassin's games, it feels like that's almost never talked about. So I completely yeah, forgot that it existed in sort of the the franchise that move that she did though where she kicked the blade that was in his one hand to like slice his throat that was so badass i've never seen that done before like i've never seen that obviously i've never seen it done before in like real life <laughs> but like just like in any movie or anything like that i've never seen something like that i thought that was really uh really inventive yeah thought it was amazing yeah. um i thought all her moves were amazing she just yeah. had a, an incredible grace and and um flexibility like there was just mm. like the way she moved through space to do a fight kind of had me in awe um and then seo is there with his sort of like more brash and and like in your face kind of fighting style but it was it was very fun to see the difference between the two of them so having seen this now like would you prefer it like the ending of assassin's creed revelations where it's kind of left up in the air and like we get to kind of make up our own uh, ending for for what Ezio is, and I th imagine most of us would kind of pick this to be his ending. Um, you know, like you said, like one last brawl in there, and uh, really being able to, like impart his wisdom, and like also like writing that note that like uh, to Sophia at the end, like I'm like who's he who's he writing to, and, like who's he, he wants to get it perfect, because um, he knew his time was was short, he knew his time was up. Um, so like you know, I think most people would kind of want this for him, but I liked it because. I feel like you don't have to have seen this to like really get the full Ezio story and like, and yeah. like, you know, to have it be like a sat satisfying because like Revelations was a satisfying ending. Agreed. Um, but I am glad that they 
that they made this um, because it was still it was still nice to see. It's always nice to get, just get like a, just like another taste, just a little bit more, and then to really, you know, for those of us that don't like the the ambiguous endings, like really get closure. Yeah, I mean, I think for me this didn't add anything really, but it yeah. gave me more Ezio. Exactly. And and I will never say no to that. That was <laughs> that was great. Um, but this was more or less what I had in mind that he was going to go off with Sophia. That he was ready for a quiet life. Mm. I'm thrilled that he had a daughter and he named it after his sister. Like yeah. that made me happy. That was just yeah. that was great to see. Um, but it's true. Like you don't need this, mm -hmm. but it did kind of play out what I would have imagined in my in my mind in a lot of ways. Yeah. I think in terms of. Ezio's reflection, I do like what he said about how like, you know, so, sort of that thing of like what well, we all take for granted when we're young. Mm -hmm. Like I had freedom, but I didn't know it. How many times as adults do we say like, oh, kids are so free. As a kid, you don't think you're free at all. Oh, my God, you have to listen to your parents and they tell you mm -hmm. when to go to bed and to eat your peas and like all this kind of BS and like you're not free at all. But oh my God, to be an adult, you are not free either. Like to pay for a mortgage and like responsibilities and have to have a job and like all this stuff. It's like there is a there is a freedom that comes with youth that you do miss when you are an adult, mm -hmm. um, you know, to have love. But I didn't feel it. I think so often in, when we're younger, we, we get kind of like wrapped up in in a lot of things and in like the drama of things because we feel mm -hmm. everything so so extremely when we're young. Um, so like to say I had love, but I didn't feel it also feels like really on point. Um, and God knows when you're young, you have time <laughs> and just endless amounts of it. Yeah. Like I remember when I was a kid in January, it felt like Christmas was a lifetime away. There was no way, like I was going to have to age 40 years before Santa Claus was going to come around again. And like now I'm older and I'm like, oh my God, months go by in the blink of an eye, the way that mm. like a week used to go by, like, like months fly by and before you know it, half the year is over and it's, um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, I feel like I'm in like this good in between stage in my life where I'm like, I'm not as old as as Ezio, but I understand what he's saying, and I'm not as young as the person he once was, but I know how that felt. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, if you've been following with us for this entire uh, Ezio journey, thanks so much. Yeah. And if you are just joining us, then check out uh, our playlist for Assassin's Creed. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Ezio's Assassin's Creed Ember's full movie, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.